The first of the uh, sort of blunt leaf tip grasses that we're going to look at is centipede grass. This is a pot of centipede that we've got here. Um, it does have a uh, stoloniferous growth habit, so if we pull this out and look at the uh, base of the pot, we will see no rhizomes in the pot, just the fibrous roots. So it has a stoloniferous growth habit and a folded vernation. All three centipede carpet and St. Augustine grass have folded vernations. They have blunt leaf tips. And here I'm going to pull out one of the, uh, the stems and we're going to look a little bit more closely at the ligule of the plant because that's going to be how we distinguish centipede carpet and St. Augustine grass is primarily looking at the ligule. So we get in here and look a little bit more closely at this ligule of, uh, of in this case this is centipede and what we're going to see when we pull the leaf back away from the sheath uh, you can see on both of these here a dense grouping of hairs that's evident there a few hairs along the leaf margin at the blade um, but there's uh, this really dense group of hairs for the ligule of uh, centipede grass folded vernation blunt leaf tip stoloniferous growth habit that'll be how we tell centipede now we're going to go take a look at carpet and St. Augustine grass. So for carpet grass, still nervous again, folded vernation. Now let's look at the ligule of carpet grass. And then we can come in here close and pull back one of these leaves on carpet grass. And what we should see, if I can find a good example here, um, try again. Take off the stone, and pull back this leaf right here. And what we'll see is that there's very few hairs present at the ligule of carpet grass. There's very few hairs. And what we will often see though, is just a few, in fact you can see them just on the far side of that leaf just a few three or four or five hairs at the margin of the leaf just before it meets the sheath so right at the, just above the collar that is pretty typical of what we would expect to see for uh, carpet grass again the ligula is going to be the important part of, of identifying this uh, from centipede because remember with centipede we had that really dense grouping of hairs and with carpet grass all we have are just a few little hairs right there you can see them on the front side of that leaf closest to you just a few hairs at the margin of the leaf, uh, maybe a little bit at the at the at the legule, but nothing to speak of compared to what we saw with centipede grass. So that's centipede. And last but not least, we're going to pull out um, some St. Augustine grass. St. Augustine grass, folded vernation, the rounded leaf tip, and again looking at the legule and collar area being uh, the important pieces for identifying this. Um, with, you know, in addition to it being a, a stolen and first growth habit, of course. But when we look at the ligule of St. Augustine grass, a couple things we want to, to look at is the fact that we've got this really compressed ligule area where the, the leaf uh, becomes really compressed as it moves down into the sheath at the collar. Very few, if any, hairs to speak of on the ligule of St. Augustine grass. You can see there's really nothing there. And um, again, stolen and first growth habit. So, that is going to be how we can tell St. Augustine grass from centipede and carpet. Again, uh, centipede has a really dense group of hairs at the ligule. Carpet grass has a few hairs at the margin of leaf blade right below before it goes to the sheath. And St. Augustine grass often has very few, if any, hairs and will be um, really tightly compressed, almost like a little petiole at the uh, collar area of the plant.